Don't act like I'm stupid. Do you want to buy a car that's done 50,000 miles in six months? That's like a seal then, right? <laughs> and I've got to the bottom of it. Who are you talking to then? Subscribe now. It's Sunday morning. First things first. <coughs> now, it's nine o'clock Sunday morning. It was a bit cold in the night, I'll say that. Um, we've got the customer to come and collect the 11 plate white Fiat 500. They're coming at 10 a.m. I've got someone picking something up around the other side. We've just sold some farming implements that we've had sitting around. He's coming down at 9.30 a.m. Then between 11 and 11.30, someone's coming to look at the red 12 plate Fiat 500. Um, is it a 12 plate? Yeah, it is a 12 plate. Uh, and yeah, it's Sunday and we've, we've got plenty to do. But yeah, Sarah's got a headache again. Uh, she didn't realise, I think we've singled it out now. I think she's allergic to MSG. And that's not the guy that you see racing the BMWs around and acts like a policeman. <laughs> it's what they put in like takeaway foods and stuff, it's like a salt. And every time, we had a takeaway on Friday night. She had a bit of an headache yesterday. And then this morning she's woke up with a corker. So I'm pretty sure we've I'm pretty sure we've narrowed it down now, so there's no more takeaways. Sarah's already uh handed over the white Fiat five hundred, did it all go smoothly? Yeah, it all went smoothly. They've come and picked it up. Layla didn't come with them today, she's not feeling very well. Um but she'll have a little surprise when they get home yeah. with her new car. Let's see how this goes. Hello, Paul. Hello. You, oh, hello. Hello. Morning. Morning, you all right? Yeah, how are things with you? Yeah, very good, thank you, very good. It's a lovely day here. You got, yeah, you got the sunshine. Thank you for doing this. That's okay, no problem. No problem. So what I'll do, I'll walk round, I'll show you the good points, the bad points, I'll start it off, show you the interior. Um, and then I'll leave it with you to have a have a think and a chat and, and see see what your uh, thoughts are between yourselves. Okay. Um, right, so I'm going to turn this camera around. Let's have a look. Yeah, scratches there. Uh, we might have some touch up for that. Um, the chrome's all right on the front bumper. Uh, round, moving around this side. Now on this side of the wing here, whether it's on or let me show you. Got a visitor here. Right. How are you, mate? Bad. Let's get this car on then. She's lovely, isn't she? I heard you coming down the road. Did you? Yeah. So we've done the walk round on the Mini, we've done the handover on the white one, we've just got a customer, potential customer, coming to view the Red Fiat 500, he's just rang to say he's just down the road now, I think he's drove past us, uh, but he's coming up now to have a look over this, I think it's for his daughter. So fingers crossed he likes it and we can do a deal today and that'll be another one out the way, but then we'll be almost carless again, so we need to hurry up and start finding a few more, don't we? Good morning everyone. Good morning all. It's Monday morning. It is Monday morning. In the office. In the office. And it's the cold. The weather outside is sunny, but very cold. 
The weather outside is. Can't remember the words. You don't know the words to any song. No. Anyway, Sarah's doing a bit of thumbnail magic. Yeah. And I'm just looking at uh, the what's on at the auction side because it's Monday and it's auction day. Uh, I have found a couple that's going through this evening, uh, just to brief you on this one, a 2012 plate Peugeot 208 showing 63,000 miles um, and it's automatic so that could be a good one. The only downside is it's red but as long as the paint works half all right on it then it's, it's, uh, it's, it's not a problem. Uh, there's also a Fiat 5 500 lounge that's done. What this is that one? This is grey, which is, we haven't had a grey one yet. Now, there is a little bit of um, a bit of a strange one going on with this 500. This is where vehicle score comes in handy because on its last MOT, it was showing it had done 53,000 miles in August. But now it's saying it's done just under 101,000. So it's done nearly 50,000 miles in six months. Now that's that's not really very good, is it? Do you want to buy a car that's done 50,000 miles in six months? I mean, is it possible? Can you do 50,000 miles in six months? It's like 8,000 miles a month. That's a lot of driving. It is a lot of driving. I don't think it's possible. Well, it obviously is possible, but like, what would you be doing? Do you know what I mean? Somebody's here. Yeah. You'd go backwards do, and forwards. To do 8,000 miles a month, you'll be going up to Scotland like 14 times. 16 Eight, times. 8,000 divided by 400. 500. 8,000 divided by 500 is 16. What did I say? You said 14, I said 16. Yeah, so that's 16 times a month. But saying that, you've got to come back. So it's eight times. You go to Scotland eight times, roughly. Uh, but it's like twice, about twice a week, isn't it? Twice a week. We're getting really good at these songs now. We could go on countdown. I doubt it very much. Yeah, so we are popping down auction later, so it will be in this video, so make sure you stay tuned and watch till the end. Well, for those of you who have been asking where Ted is. I've got leads from both, but they're a bit crazy today. Oh. Again. We're tangled. Hello. Let's take yours off because you're all right. Rubes, come here. Oh. <laughs> mm. You're all right, Rube. Hi. Hold on a sec while I sort the hair out because I've got to drag the edge backwards. So we're just heading down to auction. Uh, there's only a couple that we're going to look at. There's a 208 automatic and there's another 3500 there. Um, so we're going to head down there, we're not too far away. So we have had to take a detour. Road works. Because there were road work. Road there. Road work. Um, Literally done a five mile detour. We was we was there like twenty minutes ago. I thought Greg was gonna have a heart attack. Hey, Neil, Neil hey, Buchanan. Hey traffic. But yeah, we literally just ran the corner now, so we'll see you when we get there in a minute. Let's have a look what we got. BMW. This was a this was a cheap one. I remember this one. What was the miles on that one? 120,000, it's going to go cheap though. Here's the 3500 there, this is where we get excited. Let's have a look, oh it's in grey, it's got the nice seats, yeah. Oh look at them seats, what you say now? I like them seats, I do. Yeah. But, it's done it. It's got the different alloys on. It's got the, oh it's got the screen in the, on the dash. Sarah's so excited. And it's got parking sensors. This is a package, and it is. Tire check. Oh, 
All right. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a nice looking car, I'll be honest. Look at the chrome package around the bumper as well. Is it or has it been polished? It's had a bit of a polish on it. Look at the steering wheel as well, look. I mean, it's, maybe you can see that. It's a bit worn. It is worn because it's done a lot of miles. Yeah. But I mean, that's a nice example of a Fiat 500 if ever you saw one. It is really, isn't it? Yeah. Nice colour, nice seats, nice screen. Little dent there. Good tyres. Little touch up pen on there. Look at the rear lights. Well, they're different, aren't they? Yeah. And that's LEDs. Cool. That's a very nice car. It is a 17, right, isn't it? Yeah. There's always more wear in the drivers, but... Is it because people drive? Uh, probably because they use that door more often. That's what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> Get in there to drive. Yeah. Dope. Don't act like I'm stupid. Mr. Vico, laughing behind the camera. Yeah. <laughs> right, so, lovely, lovely car. I don't know... <sighs> Do we have to? We're not going to buy it. The thing is, what we thought of is, this is done over 100,000 miles, right? Now, on a 17 plate, fair enough if you had like a 12 plate with 100,000 miles on, then you can sell it for like between two and a half and three grand. But a 17 plate with 100,000 miles on, you're still gonna want like four and a half to five. Depends what you get it for though, isn't it? Not really, because remember there was advisories on this as well that's gotta be done. So you're still gonna, you always end up losing a grand on it. You always spend a grand, don't you? No matter what. I don't think we've had many cars where you can just put shot on the pitch and sell. No. Well, you got it, yeah, they do, but every <coughs> now and again. Well, you can't. I don't think so, sir. You should be so lucky. Um, yeah. No, I said you, not I. Order. Can I just ask for <laughs> she's, she's gonna keep that now and keep looking at it. Oh, I like them. Uh, that's one of them Hao Dong songs or whatever they're called. Oh. What they're called now? Have a look on the back, see what it's called. Oh, oh yeah. What's on there? Sayong Tivoli. Sangong Yong. Sang. Well, they're yeah. like a like a. I don't know whether they're Chinese or the Japanese, something. They're meant to be all right cars, to be fair, but budget cars. Yeah. Um, so, I do like the Golf. I do fancy the Golf, but... I don't know. Taxi, we could buy the taxi for the crack. Fake taxi. There's what? Monday, yeah. Mm. Monday. Mm. I think that's it then, sir. There ain't nothing here. Should we go and... Um... That's the two right. Oh, well, the two right. That's what we came to look at as well. Well, that Range Rover's the last one to go through, isn't it? What number was the two right now? Oh, there's the red two right over here. He walks right past. There. And that's done 60, nearly 63,000 miles on a 62 plate. Automatic, two former keepers. That's a nice buy. Mm. I reckon we'd sell that. We would sell that. No problem. But there is another one somewhere. I think it's in white. Uh, BMW. Well, there's only one 208, so I don't know where the other one's gone. Swiftly moving on. Yeah, well done. Shut up. Right, so as much as we'd love to stay, I don't think we're going to, are we? I don't think we're staying, are we? No, I don't think so. 
There's only literally really that one and that one. But we've also got to look at another feet 500 tomorrow. Um, and I think we need to look at that other one first because we can test drive that one. Yeah. And maybe limit our, our troubles, hopefully. Yeah? Your trouble. Another one of their mornings where it gets colder as the morning goes on. Um, last night we didn't hang around for auction, that wasn't for us, simple as that. Very nice, food 500, Sarah hasn't stopped talking about it, but it's not for our pitch, so there's nothing we can do about it. Um, this morning we've got, I think, Paul's coming up from Wales mm -hmm. to have a look at the Mini. We've got a couple of other vehicles in for service today. Uh, and a start motor on a 3500 um, which uh, which are going out this morning also this afternoon I believe we're going over to look at another 3500 um, yeah, got a this morning. yeah that was what it was that was the other thing we've got to remember um, we just got to do some more checks on it obviously using vehicle score and Link is in the description by the way, so if you want 20% off, use the code Valley 20. Valley 20, and you'll get plenty. Big cheese, that wasn't it? Yeah, big cheese. So, no, big cheese. Oh, and big cheese. <laughs> Just a bit of cheese. Yeah, so hopefully that, fingers crossed, that pans out alright. I know it needed coal springs, it's which was a bit strange on the MOT because it failed on coal springs and then. The next thing you know, it was an advisory on Coral Springs. So I don't get what happened there, but we need to speak to the uh, owner and find out exactly what happened, whether it was a mistake or whether they've had it done, and I don't know. And then we might be going over there later to have a look. Which was the night, it looks nice on the photos. I mean, the photos look nice, but yeah. at the same time, photos, looks, uh, photos can be deceiving, can't they? They certainly so can, so you, you need to go and have a look. Uh, I'm going to sneeze in about three seconds. One, two, three. Yeah. <coughs> it was like a seal then, wasn't it? It was. That's happening today. Uh, and we've got loads more going on. So we'll just film bits as and okay, when. Goes on. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right, well, see you in a minute. Did you make me a hot drink? No, you made me this one. Did you just want me to tell everyone that you've made me a coffee again? Because no, I only made two in the last year. Vehicle school. school. Wrong. Right, so we've just had Paul and his granddaughter Abby come down to have a look at the Mini Cooper and it's sold, hasn't it, Greg? Yep, they took it with them. So um, Abby hasn't been driving that long. She passed a test in November and she's been looking for a car ever since, so she's been driving a mum's car, which is an automatic. Uh, obviously, this is a manual, so. Um, It'll take a bit of getting used to again. Yeah, maybe. so she's took it away with her. They've come all the way down from Wales, to be fair, and they do watch the channel. So, thanks for watching the channel, Paul. Yeah, and um, uh, Abby, I hope you got back safe and sound. Yeah, and enjoy your car. Yeah. So lovely, you're quite sad to see this one go, aren't you? Well, I, I mean, we, we took it out to the show, didn't we? And I, it, I, it drove absolutely beautiful, and but you just I sort said, of got attached to it. You like, did, yeah. Which I and said, this is the I'm one just that, off camera. Yeah. It's like one of the cars that, I'd, you know, that. I really got attached to. Um, he shed a bit of a tear as well in the corner. About to wipe his yeah. tears and blow his nose. No, but uh, joking apart, Idiot. what a lovely car. Look after it and you'll get your money back in a few years' time because it is a sought after car now. That is what That was one of the first models of that model. Uh, I think it was R50, uh, 2001 R50, and it was. That's, you know, with the history it's got and everything else. Really. Oh, it's got loads of paperwork, it's, isn't it? It's, keep it all, and them tax discs. I forgot to tell you about the tax discs. Look after them, don't lose them. Put them in a frame or something. Like, I said that, yeah. Yeah, you can put them in a frame, keep them nice and safe, and it all goes to selling the car in, in the future. And what I never said, which I, I was a bit busy when he was here, so forgive me, 
Um, but you could probably get that insurance on a classic insurance now because it's over 20 years old, which may be a lot cheaper than your standard generic insurance. It will be on limited mileage, but it will be a lot cheaper. So give that a try, Abby, as well, because it might be a saving. Um, and that is about it. It's been a manic morning. It's one o'clock. Where has the time gone? Where has it gone? We've been here since early this morning. I said it was going to be a busy day, didn't I? Huh? I told you it's going to be a busy day. Yeah, and there's still more to do. So we're going to crack on and. Crack the whip. Ready? So, I'm going to show you something there. We bought this 500 last week. It's a twin air model. Every time we start it up, there's a rattling going on at the front. So, first of all, I thought, oh, it's a heat shield. Tighten the heat shield down, put some washers underneath it, fired it up, it was still there. So I'm thinking, what could that be? Because it sounds like it's at the heat shield. I've checked everything else around it, there's nothing else rattling. Took this off. And what did I see? The actual spindle that goes into the turbo, which is the salmon all these apparently, makes that noise but if it's tight on that lug that fits on there then it doesn't make that noise these wear and what they do is elongate and then it gives that room to just move about that little bit to make a rattling noise and it annoys the life out of you so obviously like we do at value autos we like to make sure all the cars are right before they go out no matter how big or small the job uh, so, I've decided to take it upon myself, to take it apart. So that looks a lot better now. Just got to grind it down and then re-drill it. And what I've done is put a bit of weld in the end here, re-drill it back out and hopefully it's a snug fit and it stops all the rattles. So let's put it back together and see if it's worked. Now that there now, put the put the cotter pin in and there's no play in that whatsoever, nice and tight. So fingers crossed, that should cure that. There you go, rattle's gone in a flash. Yeah, so there you have it. Yeah. I did swear when it happened. Oh, did you? Yeah. It's a good job you went on filming. You know, the bruise there now. Mm. Right, so um, as you've seen, I got rid of that rattle on the uh, Twin Air. It was annoying me. I heard it when, when we bought it. If you go back to the video before, when we had the auction video, you will hear the rattle. You, well, you might not hear the rattle, but you heard me say, oh, there's a bit of a rattle on that. And right at the end. You have to listen carefully. Yeah. Because Greg's always talking. So, I said there's a bit of a rattle on that I've got to sort out and I've got to the bottom of it. Who are you talking to then? I was just pretending to be there. I've oh, uh, got to the bottom of it, I've started it up about four times now just, just to listen and that has gone. Uh, so I'm very happy with that. And, and how did you rectify the problem? Well I've just showed them. Yeah but you haven't showed me. I haven't showed you, you have to wait to watch the video. It's gone. When are you going to test drive it? Well, maybe today we can get rid of these cars. We've got um, we've got the two cars in the way there, the Fiesta and the and the Blue Mini, um, which are waiting for uh, service parts. Mm -hmm. And as soon as they're gone, I'm going to road test this Twin Air, make sure it sounds nice on the road. And uh, Bob's your uncle. Fanny's your aunt. Yeah. Uh, so I think. So I think for this uh, episode, that concludes. So uh, don't forget uh, to go over to Vehicle School. So thanks for our uh, Vehicle School for sponsoring this video. Click on the link in the description and use the code Valley Twenty, and you'll get twenty percent off any of the checks that they have on offer. Yeah, and 
uh, the website is change, ever changing, so you need to go and have a look because it's been updated all the time. We'll actually show you their website on the next one. Um, there's lo like you say, there's lots of tools that you can use on there, so you do need to get over there. It's important if you're buying a car, just before you do anything, get the registration and the mileage, go over to Vehicle Score and see you don't what. Need the mileage. No, you don't need the mileage. No. You don't need the mileage, but get the mileage to check it against vehicle score because that will also tell you the mileage, won't it? So you can check to see whether it's been clocked or worse. Yeah, so we'll see you. On the next one, everyone. On the next one, everyone. On the next one, everyone. Do you just change it every time? Well, it depends what comes out the mouth at the time. Yeah, well, that's the bit that you need to start controlling. Right, right someone's here. Got to go. Goodbye. Subscribe now.